ever there is one driver which can propel our county to full scale developed status, then it is through quality skills training. On that front, the Council for Technical and Vocational Education and Training, QuadVet, through a skills development fund, is spearheading that agenda in Ghana. Who is going to provide mm -hmm. the service? And our main focus has been on mass production of garments. There was a lot of talk about Sakawa. Are you able to use these same processes to also apprehend people? That, that is Ghana? correct. Our research showed that Ghana was at the number eight in the world when it comes to cyber crime. On this program, we shall open up the SDF to you. Yeah, so SDF is here to support businesses to train their staff to be very productive. All that we're trying to do is to build a very solid human capital base. We shall profile beneficiaries of SDF. We are now even positioned to train about 400 workers. We give them uh, 276,000 US dollars. There is a fund from which we are giving grants to businesses to address these challenges. You, you develop these Moringa plants into, into products like soap, creams, okay. Watch SDF Diaries on the Joy News Channel on Multi TV every Saturday, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. SDF, managed by Cotbet, is an initiative of the government of Ghana with support from the World Bank and Danida. Yeah, from a dynamo team, me ya and preku. It do be a mwani minimu and a yarian kitten kitty bea a hank it one and what my mwanu and coso. Ya numu and I just so jabbing pick farmers and processes association. Ya tea dry a friend or are you train and ka now so ne ni hunim de bea and to your coso tre as the phone. I don't know co pair the cabre and as a grand and your phone tech phone. No more my entity and murder do an anka money di and found a woman in a so say busumia no one yinny. Now tongue I do sicker. The skills development fund SDF is an initiative of the government of Ghana with funding from the World Bank and Danida to help Ghanaian fans become competitive from now till twentieth June twenty fourteen. SDF is requesting informal sector trade associations and farmer based groups that require innovative skills and technology to submit their proposals for assistance. Visit sdfghana.org to apply. The origin of NGOs in Ghana dates far back in time with the emergence of missionaries in the early 1930s. There has, however, been a steady growth in the numbers of NGOs since then. The roles played by NGOs in Ghana in addressing imbalances between rural and urban areas in terms of health, education, science and technology, agricultural practices, and most importantly, women's development cannot be overemphasized. Provision of good drinking water, clinics, health posts, school buildings, Guinea worm eradication are among a few of the numerous successes NGOs like ActionAid, Catholic Relief Services, USAID, World Vision, and the 31st December Women's Movement have chalked over the years. So today, we have visited the Widows and Orphans Movement, another NGO which is also a beneficiary of Skills Development Fund. My name is Albert Ankara, and I warmly welcome you to SDF Diaries. Today, we visit Widows and Orphans Movement, an NGO established in 1993 and located in Bolgatanga in the Upper East region. The main business activity of the organization is to empower widows and orphans through income generating activities so as to be self-reliant. The main activities of the organization are human rights advocacy and education, education and vocational skills training, HIV AIDS education, microcredits, income generating activities. The organization among others has the following objectives. To build the capacity of widows and orphans in income generating activities. To educate and support widows and orphans affected by HIV AIDS. To identify and train widows on microcredit access as well as provide credit to support their income generating activities. To sensitize and create awareness in communities on widows and orphans' rights. 
Betty Ayagiba is a director of the Widows and Orphans Movement. Our objective is to build the capacity of widows and orphans to a lot of income generating activities so that they become self-reliant. We have also got widows and orphans with HIV. So we also build their capacity, sensitize them, and then give them support and care. We also sensitize the public, the plight of the widows and the widows themselves. We let them know that they have rights so that they claim their rights. These are the three major aims. In the organization's quest to prevent widows and orphans from migrating to the south to do menial jobs, it's provided many of them with skills in shea butter production, basket weaving and farming. This was to enable them generate income to fend for themselves. Though 12 sets of groups in the Upper East region had received donations of shea butter extraction equipment, they lacked training in efficient usage of the machinery. The group are unable to operate the machines. Products made from shea butter did not meet customers' standards. For instance, shea butter pomade was too hard and had strong shea butter smell. This low quality of shea butter produced results in low incomes. Entrepreneurial and business management skills were lacking in members of the organization, leading to businesses not performing well and folding up. Skills Development Fund, SDF, supports training institutions to develop innovative training content to meet key skills challenges of industry. Starting this April, watch SDF Diaries on the Joy News Channel on Multi-TV every Saturday, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. SDF, managed by Cotbet, is an initiative of the Government of Ghana with support from the World Bank and Danida. My name is Jacob Enu Ansa and I own Enu Ansa Farms. What we are into is uh, tilapia hatchery fishing. We are concerned about increasing our production. Our biggest resource is water. Our riverbed where we source our water is drying up and we needed to recirculate the little that we get. So we heard about SDF. We applied, they approved our application, got the funding that we needed to help us uh, install the recirculation aquaculture systems and also supported us bringing an expert to train us and install the systems. Uh, since then, we've been producing uh, 600,000 from the previous 200,000 monthly. And indeed, we have capacity to do up to 1 million fingerlings. The Skills Development Fund, SDF, is an initiative of the Government of Ghana with funding from the World Bank and Danida to help Ghanaian fans become competitive from now till 20 of July 2014. SDF is requesting firms that require innovative technology to submit their proposals for assistance. Visit sdfghana.org to apply. Some of our challenges I can mention relating to share butter processing. You know here we have the raw materials. So that was the first income generator activities we started with. But the women were not processing quality share butter. So they find it difficult to sell it. Apart from the quality share uh, butter processing, they didn't know how to manage their income generating activities. Through proposal writing, and some of our donors, we have been able to purchase 12 granny meals for 12 of our share butter processing groups. But they didn't know how to operate these machines. They didn't know how to use the machines to process this share butter. So these were all the challenges that we were facing. After the share butter, we added value to the share butter we were producing. We, made, we used it to make pomade. So we wanted, people were complaining that it was hard. So we wanted training. So the most challenge was training in all the three areas. Training in quality uh, share butter making. Training in how to process quality using the machine. And training in how to process this uh, permit. 
for market. Widows and orphans saw the need to upgrade the skills of members on machine operation, entrepreneurial and business management. In 2012, the organization successfully applied to HTF for funding to train 240 members. The training comprised skills training in quality share butter processing, permit making and packaging, entrepreneurship and business management. Consequently, HTF approved a grant of 83,457 Ghana cities to support widows and orphans movement. The widows and orphans movement uh, based in Bolgatanga uh, is into the processing of share butter into other products and uh, they had the benefit of uh, a processing equipment that has been donated to them but then lacked the skills for operating this equipment. So the request to SDF was for funding to train in uh, one in the use of uh, this piece of equipment as well as improving uh, the process of, of manufacturing the, the various products uh, to improve the quality and then also be more efficient. Uh, SDF is happy to fund this because we believe that the, the product quality uh, has gone up by, by this, the, the virtue of this training as well as uh, the efficiency of, of the production and uh, some piece of equipment that was almost uh, redundant has now been brought back to life and is benefiting them. The Skills Development Fund, SDF, supports small, medium and large scale businesses to undertake skills upgrading of their staff and acquire innovative technology required to enhance their productivity and increase their competitiveness in the local and global market. Starting this April, watch SDF Diaries on the Joy News Channel on Multi TV every Saturday, 8:30 a.m. to 9 a.m. SDF, managed by Cutbet, is an initiative of the Government of Ghana with support from the World Bank and Danida. My name is Robert Barfour, the Vice President of Ghana Technology University College. The world has gone digital and has the potential for people to do good with IT. But so is their potential to commit crimes. The banking industry, the security and judicial services need to acquire cutting-edge knowledge in computer forensics and cybercrime to fight the menace. Either to search trainings were acquired abroad. As such, we at GTUC needed to acquire the capability in order to train in cyber security and computer forensics. To do this, we require help to create both the courses and facilities. The SDA provided us a grant of 396,000 Ghana cities to accomplish this dream. The Skills Development Fund, SDF, is an initiative of the Government of Ghana with funding from the World Bank and Danida to help Ghanaian fans become competitive. From now till 20 of July 2014, SDF is requesting innovative training concepts targeting the private sector from interested training institutions. Visit sdfghana.org to apply. Among the beneficiaries of the skills training was Mary Anyabasi, a share butter processor in Bolgatanga. Before the training, they had a boy here who was helping them in the grinding and then would charge them. So the profit they will get, they have to take some of this money and pay this one. But since after the training, how to remove the knots, how to tighten the knots, they are doing it. And the grinding, they are doing it themselves. So the money they should have given to this boy, it is now their money. Has increased their profits, so they are very grateful. Imma Akeleni tells her story of how the skills acquired in quality share butter processing has enhanced her living conditions. They are processing quality share butter. First, people used to buy and bring the butter back, say it's not good, but since they went for the training. Nobody has brought share butter back that is not good. And they are processing in large quantities. First, they used to do it anyhow. But at the training, they were taught that before they process, they have to wash their hands. They have to wash the nuts. They have to pick the bad nuts and then crush it. How they will uh, roast it and how they will boil the oil very well. 
These are the changes that is making them now having quality share butter. Theresa Ayariga of Bouquet Widows Group narrates how business was before the training in entrepreneurship and business management. They have been working very effectively. They now know how to receive uh, their customers. When they come, they talk softly to them. When they ask them to reduce, they reduce. But at first, it wasn't so. So this time, they get more customers than when they were not trained. Again, after this training, they have a, a secretary who keeps records. And when they sell, they will put down what they will use for nuts. And they will deduct what they will save. And then they will take what they will share among each other. So this time, they are working very nicely. They made plenty share butter and I bought some. They made another one and the community bought. And they are making some again. This time, they don't have problems with share butter process. The Skills Development Fund, SDF, supports small, medium and large scale businesses to undertake skills upgrading of their staff and acquire innovative technology required to enhance their productivity and increase their competitiveness in the local and global market. Starting this April, watch SDF Diaries on the Joy News Channel on Multi TV every Saturday, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. SDF, managed by Cutbet, is an initiative of the government of Ghana with support from the World Bank and Danita. My name is Samuel Bolu. When the European market switched on to the new variety called MD2, it was very difficult for us to adopt to the new uh, variety because we don't have the technology. The lamp preparation is quite different. The fertilization, almost everything was different. And at the end, if you continue the way it was, we would have ended up even closing up the farm. Thanks to SDF, we received a grant of 248,000 Ghana cities, which enabled us to bring in a consortant, consultant who is currently teaching us to cultivate the new variety MD2. At the moment, we have been able to increase our yield from 20 tons to 80 tons per hectare, and we are able to sell to European and North American markets. The Skills Development Fund SDF is an initiative of the Government of Ghana with funding from the World Bank and Danida to help Ghanaian fans become competitive from now till 20 of July 2014. SDF is requesting firms that require innovative skills and technology to submit their proposals for assistance. Visit SDF Ghana to apply. In view of the skills training acquired, the future obviously looks bright for members of the widows and orphans movement, observes Alfred Amos Ziu, Municipal Social Development Officer. The potential for the disadvantaged and deprived youth in the northern part of Ghana is great if such initiative to train the group is eminent. Skills upgrade and acquisition is a must for such disadvantaged groups to climb out of poverty. There is a great demand for share products in Ghana and abroad. With the skills acquired by members of widows and orphan movements in Borga in the Upper East region, I believe that the skills acquired will uh, improve the quality of share products that is produced by these members. They produce various products such as the share butter and share pomade and I believe that training given them will continually improve the product they come up with for both the Ghanaian and international market. <laughs> Well, as you can see, excitement, of course, at our visit. And we are so excited. I'm sure you've also enjoyed every bit of it here. Of course, with the intervention of SDF, these women here also have a livelihood. Sadly, this all time will allow us today on your exciting TV program, SDF Diaries. Please make a date with me, same time next week. I'm sure we're going to be visiting another exciting place to bring you all the wonderful stories of what SDF is doing for people. My name is Albert Ankara. Bye for now.